This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. So for almost two years, the massive mega yacht Flying Fox has been mothballed in Turkey. The yacht, which was only a few years old at the time of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, was the most expensive charter yacht in the world with a weekly fee of $3 million, three to three and a half million dollars. And people like Beyonce would be seen online chartering the vessel. However, in the last week, the yacht has moved from her berth uh, next to Abramovich's mega yacht Solaris and gone out to anchor. The yacht is owned by Dmitry Kamenchik, uh, who also owns, amongst other things, the major airport in Moscow in Russia. Now, he's not, uh, he was not sanctioned at the time of the invasion and is currently not under any sanctions. Before the yacht arrived in Turkey in 2022, she was detained temporarily in the Dominican Republic, in the Caribbean. Uh, whilst detained for around about a month, the yacht was searched by local authority as well as US law enforcement, including the FBI. However, the yacht was released suddenly late one evening without any explanation given by the government at that time. And the yacht sailed from there directly to Gojek in Turkey, Port Azur to be precise, arriving on the 17th of May 2022, where she's been ever since. The AIS has actually been switched off for the majority of the time but it is, uh, has been switched on fairly recently, uh, 22 days ago as we filmed this video. Now, Flying Fox was uh, managed by Imperial Yachts until they were themselves sanctioned in June of 2022. So like I said, the vessel has moved from that location uh, in Port Azur, where she's been for pretty much the last 18 months. And you can see from this new footage that Flying Fox can be seen at anchor outside of Port Azur a lot of activity on board, it seems, with a number of boats in the water. Uh, on the starboard side, you can see the limo moored midships. Now, this is probably the entrance and the exit that the owner would use uh, when he's on board, so he doesn't have to go on through the stern of the ship and you know walk through crew areas, etc. That vessel would be used to transport guests ashore. Um, and now on the stern, also, you can see that it's fully set up like it's on a guest trip with furniture set up and a floating jetty in the water with jet skis tied up to it. So it could be that the guest, that is guests on board or the owners on board, but it could also suggest that the vessel has just been taken out of mothballs and the crew are running through the procedures for preparing the boat for a yacht trip. Also, another thing it could be a sign of is that the vessel is for sale or it's starting to advertise for charter and they're laying everything out uh, to prepare for possibly maybe a video being made or for people to come on board and look around the vessel. It seems there are a few other vessels that have also suddenly started to move around after being laid up for such a long period of time. Another vessel is Moti Yacht Universe, which is linked to uh, the ex-Russian uh, president, uh, Dmitry Medvedev, uh, although it's denied by people who are connected to the boat, but we've had letters from lawyers saying that he doesn't own it, uh, but it is widely believed that he is, in fact, the ultimate beneficial owner. Now that vessel was also laid up in Turkey uh, in a marina near Istanbul, but has in the last few weeks been moving around, went down to Gojek and has gone back around near to the Bosphorus uh, Straits there uh, up by Istanbul. All right, we'll move on to our next story now. And we are learning more information on the yacht that was seized by the French investigators, Moti Yacht Stefania. Now, if you didn't see the original video, which was went out just before Christmas, the yacht was seized in Genoa in relation to a money laundering investigation carried out by French authorities. The yacht was on her way to Dubai after leaving the shipyard, shipyard in La Ciota in France and uh, the vessel went to Genoa for reasons that remain unknown because it's not on the way from La Ciota to Dubai but the vessel went to Genoa anyway and shortly after was actually raided by the Italian Guard of Venanza and French authorities uh, and the vessel was uh, seized there in Genoa. Now, the information that's come through to us says that the yacht was boarded and the crew who were working on board at the time were given just one hour to pack up their things and leave the vessel. Uh, once the, the crew left, they were all allowed to leave. They weren't, none of them were held or anything like that, but they were all allowed to leave and the vessel was sealed and it remained in that situation for three weeks. Now, after about three weeks, the French authorities brought on a crew from France to take the yacht back to Antibes, where, as far as we know, the vessel is today. The AIS is turned off, but it was last spotted in Antibes. 
Now, uh, we understand that the owner on paper was a Ukrainian lawyer based in Dubai. However, that was just on paper. The actual owner was uh, from Belarus or Belarus. Um, we don't have the name currently, um, but uh, he was indicted for money laundering. The owner also had a villa near Monaco, which was also seized by French authorities. And the owner, seemingly knowing he was about to be arrested, fled the country during the night without telling anyone of his departure. And we understand that Interpol has a warrant out for his arrest. Now, the super yacht will be sold at auction on the 25th of January in Antibes. And the sale is listed with the title so that crime does not pay in the auctioneer's catalogue. I'll put some data on the screen here of where the boat is going to be sold. Now, the vessel was for sale last year with a price tag of 20 million euros, but the boat is estimated on the auction website to, to be in the region of 8 to 10 million euros. So possibly someone is going to get an absolute bargain. The vessel was only delivered in 2021 and it has less than 500 hours on the main engines. So it is effectively a brand new yacht. All right, so we'll move on to our next story. Uh, one of the one of my favorite yachts that we did a tour of at the Monaco Yacht Show last year in 2023, uh, Moti Yacht Grey has been sold. I actually tried to get this on the boat I work on, but uh, they are even to billionaires. These can be expensive. Now, this is a brand new yacht. So uh, the, the last recorded price for the vessel was 36.5 million euros. Now, this vessel is a 49 meter or 160 foot yacht which we uh, toured at the Monaco Yacht Show, like I said, and it was one of my favorites, one of my favorite yachts of a vessel of this size. Um, you know, what I loved about the, the vessel was that it had a beach club. It's only a 49 meter yacht, and yet that's normally something reserved for yachts of like 100 meters or, or plus. And it had this beach club, uh, the modern decor. I loved uh, the design of it. Obviously, that's very subjective to, to what somebody might like and what somebody might not like. But for me, it was very appealing. But the most impressive thing I liked about this yacht was the technology that was on board from the um, folding televisions to the giant uh, folding TV that's out on the foredeck, uh, the largest t folding television in the world, designed by Porsche nonetheless. And um, yeah, I, I love that setup that they had there. Really nice integrated bridge as well. It was, it was just in all, I, I really liked the whole thing. It had those sh opening shell doors in the master cabin so they can sit out and, and, and be right on, out on the water whilst they're in their master cabin. So many things about it that I really loved and I'm not surprised that, it, that the vessel has sold. If you haven't seen that tour, by the way, uh, check it out. I'll put a link above here. I have in the past, picked my own name out of a hat on, <laughs> for Secret Santa um, and I did not say anything and I bought myself a gift. So remember to check out our new podcast channel. It's at Yacht Report Podcast on YouTube. You'll also find it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well as Audible and soon to be on all platforms. Uh, here we talk about all things super yachts in a more informal, relaxed atmosphere with anecdotal stories from my past adventures in the industry. Obviously, we can go into more depth as well because it's a longer format. From Monaco to Gibraltar was uh, 865 nautical miles. And don't forget to check out our Patreon channel or Patreon page. You'll find videos not featured on YouTube, include, including our Atlantic vlog series and behind the scenes footage from our recent trips to Europe. And we just posted a new patron chat talking in more depth about the Salvador Mundi case with the super yacht owner, Dmitry Robolev. If you've got any information about any of these stories or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch. If you are a crew member on board that yacht, I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can get us at the address in the ticket here. You can get us on the about page of the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram or Facebook Messenger, on Twitter and on Threema. Be sure to like the video, very important for the algorithm. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for future notifications. Hi guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you really soon. Bye bye.